first secret is the first secret is baking is chemistry right baking is basically baking is nothing but cooking but it happens in presence of dry heat right so we don't need any water we don't need any steam we don't need anything to cook our cake so baking is nothing but cooking in presence of dry heat so just remember this definition of baking right another very important thing that happens when you are making your uh, uh, cakes is uh, uh, to see how the ingredients are reacting you must have heard that uh, baking is chemistry so let us understand how baking is chemistry okay now can even talking about any fancy ingredients which um, you know maybe if you go to pastry schools they will Uh, they will ask you to use invert sugar or glucose in your recipes now we don't want to use those kind of fancy stuff because um, we are doing all these things at uh, in our home bakery so let us take um, basic ingredients of any baking recipe right so you mentioned maida now maida is like the hero of your cake why because it will give you that required amount of texture inside your cake right now what kind of texture is created so just imagine the maida creates a network like structure ek jale ke jaisa texture ban jata hai okay so uh, in other words people say that gluten is formed okay so just remember ek jale ke jaisa texture ban jata hai meaning you get a network like structure inside your maida while you are making your cake recipe okay the next thing oil so yes people use any fat in the recipe so you can use ghee you can use butter as well or you can use oil right so there are oil based cakes there are butter based cakes there are fat free cakes that are available in the market so you can use any of these particular things for making your uh, cakes now why do we use fat in the recipe uh, we use fat in the recipe because it acts as a tenderizer meaning it will make your cake very very moist and tender okay that is the only function why we use fat in the recipe but apart from that we use fat because it acts as a natural preservative रिमेम्बर इन यूर अचार जब भी हम लोग पिकल या अचार बनाते हैं घर पे अभी समर्स में इट स्टेज फॉर ट्वेल्व मंथ्स और वो हम लोग फ्रिज में भी नहीं रखते वी कीप इट इन आर वी कीप इट इन ग्लास बॉटल्स इन रूम टेम्परेचर राइट देर वी एड लॉट ऑफ ऑयल एंड वाई डू वी एड सो मच ऑयल बिकॉज इट एक्ट एज अ नेचुरल प्रेजर्वेटिव शुगर इज अनदर नेचुरल प्रेजर्वेटिव सॉल्ट इज अनदर नेचुरल प्रेजर्वेटिव दैट traditionally we have been using in our recipes because they act as a preservative okay so fat acts as a tenderizer it will make your cake moist and it act it acts as a natural preservatives as well uh, so it will increase the shelf life of your product naturally we don't want to include any chemicals or any preservatives in our any um, extra additional preservatives in our recipes at all the next one sugar so of course we need to eat cakes that are sweet in taste so we will add sugar in our recipes uh, but another very important function uh, of sugar is that it caramelizes at high temperature meaning sugar changes its color from white to slightly dark brown in color when it is exposed to high temperature that is how caramel is made right when you start roasting sugar in your saucepan it starts changing its color right it it becomes pale brown or dark brown in color so that is why your baked cakes get that beautiful golden brown color on itself after it is baked so that is because of sugar now some people use curd some people use banana as well some people use eggs in the recipe right they provide required amount of protein to your recipes plus they act as a binding ingredient meaning now till now what we have discussed we have discussed flour we have discussed sugar we have discussed fat as well but we need something to bind all these ingredients as well corn flour that you are using in your pre mixes again corn flour is added to your soup to uh, no uh, so that so as to make it very very thick right or maybe you when you are making your fruit compotes for your cake recipes again you add little bit of corn flour uh, in that particular recipe so all of these things they act as a binding ingredient meaning they will take all the ingredients together and they will bind it together so that the dough is formed or so that the batter is formed okay so that is the very important function of these binding ingredients now next is milk milk has its own sugar and milk has its own fat as well or you can use milk powder as well because of this particular property of milk is it has its own fat and it has its own sugar as well it will make your cake moist at the same time it is going to give that required amount of color so it will give slight color to your cakes so that is the reason people use milk or milk powder in their recipes 
and last but not the least baking powder and baking soda okay in absence of eggs we need something which will naturally rise uh, naturally help in rising our cake okay so we will be using baking powder and baking soda in the recipe now this is about cakes but when you are making bread the raising agent that you will be using is yeast again there are three four types of yeast we are not getting into that but yeast is another biological agent that is used for raising your breads in cakes what we use is baking powder and baking soda now if you ask me what is the difference between baking powder and baking soda and should we use both in the recipe see um, you have to understand that um, whatever recipe calls for whichever ingredient you have to stick to that there are certain recipes where you will find there are they are using only baking soda in the recipe there will be certain recipes which will be using only baking powder in the recipe there will be certain recipes which will be using both in the recipe okay so um just stick to the recipe whichever recipe calls for whatever ingredient just follow that blindly but let me just give you the difference between these two uh, raising agents right so baking powder is nothing but baking soda plus cream of tartar so baking soda and when another ingredient is added to that it gets converted into your baking powder now why this additional ingredient is added in your baking soda is because baking soda will react with immediately with any acid in your recipe for example you are using curd in your recipe so baking soda will immediately react with the um, acid in that curd and it will create those chemical reaction it will create those bubble inside your um, wet ingredients right but baking powder the moment you mix baking powder in curd it will immediately not create so many air bubbles maybe slightly it will react but the main reaction starts happening when the batter goes inside the heated environment okay when the batter goes in the heated otg that time baking powder suddenly reacting basically baking powder needs heated environment so that it starts getting activated so you must have uh, seen these kind of air bubbles in your cake batter so any recipe that you are trying once you mix all your dry ingredients to wet ingredients you must have seen these kind of air bubbles in your recipe yes or no yes so this is this is nothing but the first rise first rise of the cake that is happening inside your cake batter theek hai aapke cake ke batter mein jo pe, sabse pehla cake jo rise hota hai na wo otg ke bahar hota hai right it happens outside the otg so the first rise these air bubbles these air bubbles are going and fitting inside the network like structure remember i told you maide ke andar ek texture banta hai ek jale ke jaisa texture banta hai so these air bubbles are going and fitting inside that particular pocket these are like air pockets right and that is how naturally the cake is rising so this is the first rise of the cake that is happening second and third will happen during the baking process you have to measure your ingredients correctly and for that we will have to use your digital weighing scale okay if you guys are still using measuring cups for measurements guys you are bound to get bad textures for your cake okay so please invest in good um, uh, digital weighing scale digital weighing scale is something that is going to uh, help you get accurate measurements for your uh, cakes okay and all 90% of your baking related issues like sticky cake getting dry cake getting lot of cracks on the cake or maybe sunken cake all of these things are related to not measuring your ingredients correctly so tomorrow if you show me your cake or if you tell me that oh my god my cake is sunken in the middle the, my first question to you will be have you measured your ingredients correctly or not because remember last time also i had shown you that there is difference between 1 tablespoon and 1 teaspoon and initially all the beginners including me they make this mistake instead of 1 teaspoon they will be taking 1 tablespoon measurement or maybe instead of like they will read the recipe and in a hurry they will just try to half the recipe and uh, they will forget to half the baking powder and baking soda uh, thereby including more air bubbles in the uh, cake batter and that is how the cake texture affects very very badly okay so secret number 1 is baking is chemistry